Welcome back to the library here in Farnley. Today's story in connection to the painting, the installation of the Prince of Wales as Knight of St. Patrick in St. Patrick's Cathedral in 1868 is going to be about the illustrious order of the Knights of St. Patrick. And they were an order of British chivalry which was established by George III in 1873. And what inspired me, I suppose, to do that story this week is in relation to the crown jewels which were stolen from Dublin Castle on the 6th of July 1907. And in 1907, Prince Albert had returned to Ireland for another uh, installation where actually Lord Castletown was going to be made a knight. And uh, when he came, his jewels had been stolen. So just to put the jewels in the context uh, of the Knights of St. Patrick, they were part of the uh, insignia or the accoutrements uh, of the Knights because they did have a collar yeah. and star and badge and the mantle, which is the big blue cape. So we'll talk a little bit about them in a minute in relation to where they feature in the painting here. But just to get back to the Knights, to kind of put the whole order in a context, when it was established, there were 15 knights and then over a period of years different uh, monarchs maybe would have added on or you could add on knights so uh, the end in 1931 there would have been um, 22 knights so there couldn't ever be any more than 22 at any one point so I think what happened was somebody had to maybe pass on to create a space for somebody else to be installed as a knight and that's the way that it worked. So here in the painting we have uh, Prince Albert. So he's here being installed as a knight in 1868. You can see that he is wearing the blue um, robes. And that blue is known as St. Patrick's blue, which would have been probably the official colour of iron prior to the green um, going back years ago. And we also see that the knight is being installed by the Grand Master of the Order. And this is this other man here with a big cape, and you can clearly see the star of the Order on his cape to the left there. And the Grand Master at the time was uh, James Hamilton. This is him in the um, painting here. And the Grand Master tended to be the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland. That's who would have been um, nominated to be the Grand Master of the Order. So it was the illustrious order of the Knights of St. Patrick. The equivalent, I suppose, in England would be the Knights of the Garter and in Scotland would be of the Thistle. So getting back to the crown jewels, the Grand Master tended to have the same insignia as the other knights, badges and collars, but then in 1931, William IV would have given a particular uh, special badge and star to the Grand Master and it was uh, maybe more valuable and beautiful jewel-wise. It was encrusted with uh, Brazilian diamonds and rubies and emeralds. And that's what was stolen in 1907 from uh, Dublin Castle. And at the time, there would have been a bit of a scandal around that because there were questions raised about the security um, arrangements in the castle and uh, who would have had access to keys at the time uh, when the jewels were stolen. So they were never found, so they're missing um, the crown jewels. So that's the connection between the crown jewels and the Knights of St. Patrick. And I have lovely more stories about this actual event here in the painting that I want to say for another day, about the actual installation of uh, Prince Albert and what happened at that ceremony and what was said at the ceremony, the whole uh, installation description, but particularly lovely stories around the social scene that weekend when uh, he did visit with Princess Alexandra and she's wearing the beautiful blue dress to the St. Patrick's blue. So there are lots of lovely stories that we'll hear in future about that weekend and the partying and the socialising that went on with the Guinness family around the whole installation and the event of the Prince becoming a knight. <laughs>